Here we are boys, we're on a little property here, uh, pretty much a neat 100 acres and uh, it's at Tungamol, which is around about halfway between Rockhampton and Emu Park and um, the road that we're on is Cobb and Co Road. The property itself is right up the top end of Cobb and Co Road, right at the end there. We're going to drive in, give you a bit of a look around this little place and um, it's quite a tidy little block, five bedroom home and with an, with an office as well so it's not a five bedroom home including an office it's five bedroom home with an office own. brick home low set show you all that in just a moment we're just coming around there's a very nice little drive coming up to the homestead buyers uh, as you can see the improvements are, are very tidy uh, around the place the property runs around about 15 head you know uh, give or take a bit there depending on the season and uh, and uh, of course if you want to feed you'd run a few more very tidy little yard certainly suitable enough and, and big enough to handle the livestock that you would run on this property and we'll um, just poke on up now and go back around and have a look at a little bit more of the place good water on the place we won't go to the house just yet I'll show you a little bit more of the bit property of a quick shot of the house just looking from down below the house here in the shed Buyers just looking back up from uh, down the, the flat down from the yards and just a little bit of a pan across the countryside here just so you can get a bit of an idea of the, of the terrain and the, and the type of country that is here. Now there's a bore here does around about, what was that again you said Gary? Uh, about 1200 gallons. 1200 gallons an hour and uh, it supplies up to the house of course and then it supplies troughs and everything around the property so uh, just give you an idea boys. there's plenty of water here to, um, to feed the stock and everything in the place. Just a little dam here on a, on a little gully that runs just off the boundary on the property. Nice, neat little dam. And I'm just going to pan around and just show you there's a, a shed up here on the ridge. And back up, heading back out towards the front gate where we come in before. So we'll head on up now and have a look through the house, buyers, and give you a look at a, a really nice five-bedroom Just looking from the roadway here, buyers, just quickly before we go back over to go and have a look through the house, but there's a nice good look down across the the uh, the, the margin of the country is from the gate, from the front gate, looking back across to the road that goes back up to the yards are just straight back over and behind there, and the homestead's just straight back up in there. So we're going to go and have a look at all that right now. Just another quick shot, looking back across a little bit more of this country buyers and as I said to you it's a very tidy uh, and, and a very uh, scenic sort of a drive from the uh, front gate there's the yards over there and the homesteads back up in there a few uh, cattle that are on the place running here at the moment as I've always said cattle speak for the country you can have a look at those here we are we're at, uh, in October and uh, we have had a little bit of rain but there's been very little shoot those cattle look quite good for this time of the year they're on basically developed forest country uh, iron bark blue gum and uh, and a bit of bloodwood I won't spend much time here boys but I'm just looking at the the view from the homestead looking back down across the flats from the actual homestead very nice rural view but we'll have to move inside because there's quite a bit of wind out here. There's a nice double carport here. And as you can see, the house is an L-shaped house. And um, as you drive up to it, it doesn't look as big as it really is. Very nice, tropical, rural type setting. Inside the home here now buyers and as you can see quite a nice uh, kitchen here going into a walk-in pantry and um, that then leads into a very nice open plan tiled living area beautiful living area going back out onto a veranda which we'll go out onto in a moment and then the house 
or the kitchen I should say, leads back into the dining room. Once again, open plan, back from here. And back out the door I just came in. Very cool, breeze gets right through this house, nice and cool. The house cool. is very well laid out. There's the, the laundry just there, and from the laundry then, all tiled, we come back in through to the toilet, which is just in there, and then the shower and bath in here. Now this is a five bedroom home, and as I'm just going to quickly go through these bedrooms, just give you a look as you as we go through the house. At um, when I say five bedroom, there's the office in there. Five bedrooms plus an office. And then this last bedroom here, the main bedroom, opens out onto it's the coming bedroom. from the kitchen area and um, going back up, I'll just show you another bedroom here out off the end of the house that opens out onto the front, but also too coming back into the office which looks back out over quite a nice view out over the property. From there then, you can go from either the, the living area or the dining kitchen area back out onto a very spacious open veranda with great views looking back out over the property. So there you have it boys, a very nice comfortable little property close to Rockhampton and uh, halfway between Rockhampton and Emu Park, close to the beach, close to the main facilities in Rockhampton and more importantly just a great place to come home to and call home. Give me a call, I'd love to show you over this place, I know that you'll like it.